Hello, everyone. Welcome to... Oh, God. You messed up my flow. Uh, welcome... Right. Okay. <laughs> welcome back Hello, to... Hello, everyone. I'm killing myself right now. My name is Markiplier. Uh, welcome back to All Riled Up. I'm your host, Riley Sassanelli. Good Joining... going, bros. You're going to get your ass beat. Gus isn't even here. You... The genre was like, oh, I got to <laughs> make up for Gus being gone. I respect that. Pop on the morning to you, ladies. So, join me today, as always, Eunice. How you doing, Eunice? Ah! Bow, 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 bow. Gus is not here, Ooh. but Dijon is here. Can I? Uh, can anyone like think of another random YouTuber's intro so I can just blurt it while he's talking? I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Can I get a personal theme? And can my theme be the God of Festival? Ah, oh, you know, I forgot to tell you guys the soundboard no. that, that I added. No. I want to. What do you mean? That beat goes it, hard. It, so, okay, guys. Kirk wakes up dripping like this. That's the first one. Okay. <laughs> and then, uh, so, okay, this second one. Uh, Ludacris loves Kirk Cousins, but I. Ludacris loves Kirk Cousins. Is that a pregnant man? Yes, because he loves Kirk Cousins. Isn't that from the interview that you were telling us about? Yeah, so, no, okay, let me tell the, the video, right? So, I was sitting on the couch watching. The pregame for Falcons Chiefs, and I was on my phone, and I wasn't even listening to what um, the video or like what the people were saying on the TV. But then Claire just turns to me and goes, "Ludacris loves Kirk Cousins," and I'm like, "Did you make that up?" She's like, "No, it was something in the video." So I, it took me so long to find a clip of the pregame. But I found <laughs> a, a NBC posted that, like, posted the entire pregame on their Facebook, not Twitter, not YouTube, not Instagram, on Facebook. Oh, shit. Christian and, Wilkins is out for the season. Is that the guy for the Raiders? Because I saw that before yeah. we were recording. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bummer. Okay. Dearborn is not helping. Um, what's his name? Sala. Sala. Yeah, I know. Oh, I can't wait to talk about that. I have so many thoughts. Did you see what happened with that Muslim group? No, what? The Muslim uh, activory group CARE, C-A-I-R, demands that the Jets answer why Robert Sala was fired. I can't. Hey. And physically removed after salt and people because they think it has to do with him wearing the lebanese patch not him being fucking 20 and 36 okay that is not why he was fired we'll we'll get to why he was actually fired because it literally only comes down to one dude uh one thing but uh so i looked back and i found the ludicrous loves kirk cousins thing you have to take care of it uh, ludicrous loves kirk cousins but i oh wait let's listen to this i don't watch porn uh you know, I've never been uh, into any weird kinky. He's never been into any weird kinky stuff. <laughs> but uh, we'll, like, talk, wait, we'll talk about Aaron Rodgers later. Porn? He does know that, like, not all porn is kinky stuff. He was just saying right? that because in the interview where uh, he says that he was, he said that like people can put porn on your computer and blackmail you. Like that, he in his own words, he said they can put porn on your computer and cancel you after okay. they find the porn on your computer. Let me tell you right now: the only way to do that <laughs> is that if you open up a file, if you don't know where it's coming from, why the fuck are you opening shit? I know. Yeah, no, don't do that. But, but uh, let's let's recap some games, and uh, I'm only no, gonna go over the no, ones we actually, care about. What? <laughs> I'm Dijon. No. I'm beating your ass. Like this, it, when I go back to Dearborn, actually no, you're not even gonna be there. He doesn't live in Dearborn. I forgot. Well, I'll come up when. Oh okay, yeah, <laughs> Dijon for the fight. <laughs> Eunice's brother better go too. Dude, my little brother, I feel can pick up both of you. No, he could not. I've not seen okay. what he looks like, but he could not. I haven't either, but I assumed he's as uh, small as Maddie. No, he's not small. How how tall is he? Brother said, bro, no, bro he's said small. little brother, and now I'm picturing Andre the Giant. Like you need, <laughs> he's, he's you need 
for his age, he's about 5'9", 260 pounds, and, like, works out religiously. Like, he has a bulk. Okay, well, I could still beat him in a fight, I think. Mm-hmm. I probably <laughs> won't. I, can I am barely shorter and weaker. I am not winning. He I can probably... barely get that fucker enough. I can barely get that fucker on the ground, and that's only because I'm good at submissions. That is it. If he does actually work out, then uh, he could probably lift me. But I think he told me. I think last time he told me his bench PR was like around like three thirty. Oh, then then he can lift me easily. I'm not lying. I'm saying, like, he then he could left. I'm not being like, like this is not me. Uh... I know, I know. There is a difference, though. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, the weight's not like evenly dispersed or whatever. Moving on, week yeah, that's or, Thursday night football. Week five, Thursday night football. Uh, I I wa- I am so glad I watched the whole game. This was really good, actually. Like, I yeah, this game is game in the. This game so far has been definitely like in the top three discussion of the season. Mm-hmm. I think the other one that we're going to talk about, I wish I had watched the whole thing, like, because everybody else was saying that was also game of the week, uh, which was Ravens uh, Bengals. Uh, but yeah, I Falcons win in overtime. Uh, it was. It, it sucks. I'm glad Baker isn't like hurt long long term though. Um, cause I mean, well, I don't care because neither of these teams are my team. But the Bucks had it like locked up. But there was a bullshit like the the they there was a call that like they missed like the face mask. Yeah, no. but the only reason I don't care about that. Is because earlier when the Bucks were getting a touchdown, there was a call that they did not call against them either. So I just took it like as a even division. You know what I mean? Then I now, guess it doesn't why matter. Why this happened? No, no. The reason this happened is because they were like, "Oh shit, Dejan said Falcons win." My bad. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Fix that. Okay. So since we're only on the first game, I'll just say this. Uh, so Dijon had ten predicted games correct. He, this is the first time he's ever hit a, one of his spreads correct too, and it was Cowboys by three, which I I was pretty firmly Steelers. So I was that game fucking sucked like that. So but it was yeah, just news fest. It, congratulations, Dijon! You you got you win the trophy for most games correct this week, Dijon or. Me and Eunice tied at seven, and I think Gus had six. <laughs> um, then I we think had, that just means I know more ball than you. Than I, I think overall, if you look at our predictions, you're wrong, though. Didn't you get, like, four? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, last week, Dijon got, like, five or six, and I got, like, ten. I think it was, I think it was, we got seven, we got seven, Riley. Gus got six, and Dijon got five. I'll have to look at my... Uh, I, I think when the season is over, I'm going to go back and compile everyone's numbers. Except I didn't keep track week one, so I have to go back and like look at the week one predictions, but that won't be too hard. Um, I'm sorry. I thought that was hilarious because it, you like dead... like If I could see your camera, it would be like dead face. Yeah, Dijon, you're wrong. Overall. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, overall, I, I bet overall you have a losing record. Overall, I think I have a winning record by like one or two. I don't think any of us overall have a winning record. No, I, I'm gonna I, 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 I'm going to go back and look at my especially TikToks. Not, okay, especially in that week two and three. <laughs> we were definitely oh. wrong. I'm going to go back Dude. after this and look at all my TikToks. I think I have like a one or two game overall like like winning percentage but only by like one or two games no joke that's that's not even me like talking shit that's me being like actually serious in the fantasy football app you know your your pickums i'm 41 to 36 dude i gotta do that i only started that 
I only st I joined a pick'em league in week four. So, but I'm like 16 and 14 in the pick'em league <laughs> with two weeks of predictions. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. 41 and 37. Oh. Well, then you have a positive record. <laughs> yeah, I guess, sure. Uh, then we had Jets. Jets, Vikings. This was the first game in London. This game was so bad, man. It was, it was, it was fine. It was, it was entertaining. Realize, this game made me realize the the Lions have a decent chance against the Vikings. Oh, hundred percent. Up to up to then, I was like, this is going to be a tough one. But now I'm like, okay, I feel like it's more even that's, than I thought it was. That's the problem with the Vikings is that like a like fifty like a fifty year old man, they cannot finish. They like. <laughs> They get 75% of the way, and then they just stop, like, functioning as an offense. Literally, like, the week, the, the, like, the, like, not to bring them up, and I'm sorry for that, but literally, like, the first two weeks of the Ravens. Yeah. Like, actually, yeah, exactly. Because they, they were just, uh, I, I watched that game. The Jets offense is horrible. We'll talk about that later. That, that we're we're I'm trying not to, to talk too much. I'm trying to go around the the elephant in the room. The Jets' offense is horrible. Aaron Rodgers in this game looked like he really fucked up his leg. Like <laughs> yeah, he was crawling on the sidelines, and he was like four. he was like screaming in pain. Like you yeah, could that tell. Yeah, scream was crazy. Mm. Yeah, I mean like. I, I don't know what he expected. Like, 40 years old aside, right? He came into this game knowing his knee was bad. The uh, Everyone knew his knee was bad. He was limping from the first snap of the game. And he's like, I'm going a, I'm to a fuck it out. Well, to be, to be fair to Aaron Rodgers, which I'm not going to be the rest of the show, um, he... He did, like, he was showing old signs of himself, like, in other weeks. And then he uh, regressed this game a lot. And he also threw, I think, three interceptions and his fifth pick six of his career. Yep. Ooh. Yeah. So, he was, uh, and, yeah, they just, he threw three interceptions and then got his head coach fired. But you know what? One good thing for Aaron Rodgers from this game, he finally crossed sixty thousand. He did. Yards. Yes, he did. I I heard about that. Congratulations, A Rod. You know what funny he should enough. do? Ayahuasca. No. Oh my god. I was gonna say funny <laughs> Wait. enough. If Brady retired, let's say. I don't watch porn. I don't know because uh, Aaron Rodgers has no, been playing what for uh, two years less than Brady. Kinky. Uh, yeah, I think so. Brady still has almost 30,000 more yards than I, him. I know. <laughs> he's he's like at 89k, I believe. Dude, that would... Yeah, he, he is, like, pretty far up there, because we were looking at... We were talking about, like, who was the GOAT. Or the top five. Let me do I something feel like A-Rod had so many other options he could have done instead of just, like... Like no, I'm gonna I'm gonna just keep doing football after that especially means. after the ACL. I'm he, like, dude, he has the perfect he, he, he has the perfect out because he could just go into politics. I just want to say I just did some the math real quick in my head. Brady with the ninety thousand passing yards. That means had he passed for j exactly three thousand yards per season, which is still pretty good. Yeah, that means he could have played for thirty years. Damn, you know he would have would have played till fifty. You know one thing though is that Brady did miss that whole season when he tore his ACL. Fucking a, yeah, and you're then, right. At ninety two, I think he missed five games when he got suspended or four games. So don't don't forget this is also including his first season where he only oh, played like five games. Where he yeah that that's true. I was gonna say where he played like. Uh, like so yeah. he pretty much missed two seasons. That's <laughs> minus two seasons. That's fucking that's fucking crazy. That means had he really wanted to, and let's say he played those two seasons, had he wanted to and played one more year, he would have had a hundred thousand passing yards. 
That would have been awesome. awesome. Nobody would ever uh, get around that again, I feel like. No one would, bro. Um, Because Mahomes is only at, like, what, 30? 30-something. 30 I think, like, 35, 36. He might get, I mean, he might get, like, close. I, I think he'll get close. He'll get within, like, uh, 10K of that before he retires. I think he'll pass 60, but I don't know if he'll pass 80. I think he'll get between 10 and 15K of of, uh, of Brady. Also, keep in mind, I mean, Mahomes, like, he's proud to admit it, and I respect it, too. He said once he's done, he's done. Like, he'll spend time with his family. So, like, let's say, like, he gets sick of football this year. He'll be done this year. Hey, most likely, he... Th- that thing is, like, if he retired, most likely, like, he's going to have the three-peat under That's his hard. belt. Unfortunately, I hope not. But <laughs> All right. uh, wait for the Lions to get in there, bro. Hey, uh, yeah. Right. Anyway, so Panthers, Bears. I was so surprised that the Bears like actually clicked. Uh, yeah, it's against the Panthers, I but so. I know you did, Dijon. <laughs> I mean, Allen, Allen, Allen's probably not. Keenan Allen. Allen's yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that was, uh, yeah, yeah. so, yeah. but, but, uh, I, who the Bears play next week? I think I it's... think the Green Bay? Let's check. They're versing the Jags. Jags. Oh, <laughs> That's man. what they needed, baby. <laughs> the, the Jags the actually Bears... won, so, man, I don't know. The Bears about to go back to back. <laughs> Uh, then we had Ravens, Bengals, Eunice. What did you think of this game? All right. Honest answers. Ravens side first. Offense, fucking spectacular. Not a single flaw from the Overtime? offense. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> we still, I don't give a fuck. Moving on. <laughs> uh, defense, however, like made me want to throw up. Like on the inside. The run defense was there as always, but Ravens are not beating those allegations of horrible pass defense. Which so, sucks. We have the players, but the coaching for the pass is not there. So I was going to ask you, Eunice, so Joe Burrow threw for almost Pretty 400 much yards. yards. 392, I think, was what it was. Yeah. Do the Ravens still have the best secondary in the league? Yeah. Or <laughs> so from Wait, a you had something there? from a from a talent perspective, or just from a like because ob- uh, uh, objectively there is one team that does worse than them defending the pass, and can you guess what team that is? I don't fucking know. There are so many teams that are doing shit at pass defense this year. Was it Panthers? It's the Jags. Raiders? Jags. Ah, I would get it eventually. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, like, yeesh. But at the same time, okay. but then at the same okay. time, the offense, I'm sorry, I was, keep going. There's In my on. opinion. Okay, so I said this already to Riley, like one of the games with the Ravens. And I'm like, the only reason your run defense is so good is because that's who they face against when they practice. Because, honest, because you know, that makes sense. Yeah. And you saying you still have the best secondary, in my eyes, that just means over time, because, like I said, they're only really practicing against run defense. Lamar is a good QB, but, you know, clearly not good enough to make the pass defense fucking spectacular. What, so, one thing with I'll that, s- the more games they're playing, they're just better they're going to get with their pass defense. Yeah. That's what I was going to say is like, I think that like, I I say this half joking because obviously as time goes on, it's going to get better. But I was just saying like, they got carved up like a Thanksgiving Turkey when they threw the ball. Both secondaries, both of the secondaries on both teams were like hot garbage. Oh yeah. That, that does not that, me saying all this does not highlight yeah. how bad the Bengals defense is. Like, it, like my hey, God. the Bills look at that and they're like, "Man, we're glad we're not them." Like, dude, it, but that's what I actually wanted to bring up. I I feel like it's a matter of consistency. 
that's the issue. Because, like, we went against our, like one of the top three quarterbacks who's literally known for, like, his – isn't his nickname, like, the fucking cyborg or something? Superman. Because, like, the way – Superman. Because, like, when he grabs that ball, oh, I'm at the one-yard line, and you want me to throw it to the end zone on the other side? All right, cool. He'll do it with both eyes closed. Like, and the fact that we were able to lock up then with the second year, that just shows me it's a consistency problem. It's not a talent issue. It's consistency. Mm. Yeah, that, like, that too. I mean, there, uh, but what's, uh, um, all in all, um, fantastic game so far. Definitely best game of the season so far. I'm sure it will probably get passed again. It's it lost in the OT, to be honest. Huh? Oh yeah, Lamar Should've just like did O2 not want to win the, the game. To be but, honest, but the Bengals ho- uh, holder fucked up like bad. Yeah. Well, honestly, there was three fuck ups. One came from the Ravens, obviously it's that fumble. We know that. Yeah. And two came from the Bengals. The Bengals. Obviously, the- you have the kicker. Oh, not the kicker, the holder. Excuse me. And the head coach. Just, not even the head coach. I was gonna talk. I was gonna say Burrow. Because they got to the 30-yard line where they could just get a field goal yeah. and that game's over, but he threw that interception with three minutes left. Oh, okay. I, I was going to say, I didn't know about that because I didn't uh, watch that game. I don't know. Was, the game was set in stone. They were in field goal range, and the Ravens, we saw the best we were able to do was a field goal. So we know like that's how that would have ended. They would have won 40, 41. Yeah. 41 to 38. Had they got a field goal, so had the Ravens, but whatever. Yeah. But it was yeah, that put them in that OT position to begin with. That was like the first mistake that like led into the other two. Yeah. It's like, all right. I, okay. For some reason, they did it when they were in overtime, but not during the actual fourth quarter mm-hmm. of, hey, let's run it because why would we pass here? <laughs> Yeah, that's why I was going to say, like, that I was going to criticize the coach because the play calling is, like, you don't, you have, like, one of the best QBs in the league. You don't run the ball three times when you can't run the ball. Yards. Yeah. Would just not four, like, if it was, like, a situation where it's like, oh, man, Burrow's been playing, like, shit today. He only has, like, a passing yards. We have to run. Like, I understand that completely. I'm but he's to... at 400 yards. Keep the, the screen. Going. Strike, strike the iron while it's hot, my guy. They're rushing. Like if, if Joe Burrow still wants to like make like throw the ball, throw a screen. It's not that hard. They Do rushed. They rushed for seventy-one yards. That's also what I was gonna say too. Where it's like, even if running the ball, you generally think is like you think there's a problem with Burrow and you need. Keep in mind, too, you're also going against the best run defense yeah. in the league. What the? Where it's, like, it's just like, what are you doing? The pass game has been at an A-plus all day. Your run game has been horrible all day. And you're versing the best run defense in the league. What are you doing? I am throwing three short passes, or I'm throwing... Yeah, no, I'm throwing three short passes. I might yeah, run... Okay. Okay. One yard, one yard, one yard. Now we're going for the field goal. I like, we're not might... Running have run one time and if it you know it, i would say it definitely like it, it, you would have to call it while uh on the field before the snap because if the defense looks like hey you can run it run it yeah 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 i mean like there's nothing wrong with testing the waters once that's why three times. yeah usually you run first and then you do two short passes because that's the thing is even if he hit the field goal, it's like a fifty-one or fifty-two yarder. Like it was, uh, it was. I believe it was exactly fifty-six. That's insane. Like I know that. Like the more time that passes, the more that we're getting to like the point where like these kickers are kicking insane like uh, yeah, yeah. balls. But like, dude. Uh, I don't care how good my kicker is. Dude, I don't trust OB. a kick from 60. Like, I'm not going to lie. O- I'm sorry. I just want to say in- real quick. Like, yeah. when the Ravens got it, got the ball back, and they got to the end zone, whatever, or just short of it, uh, Derrick Henry got them all the way down to, like, the seven-yard line, right? And even then, like, the thing popped up. It's like, oh, 26-yard field goal. And I'm like, all right, this is Justin Tucker, one of the best kickers in history. I'm still nervous. Exactly. They, no, if I remember correctly, they did try one play, and they're like, "All right, we're not getting through. Just kick it." 
No, no, I was watching. They did not. They as soon as they got down there, it was literally first and goal, field goal. I swear it was second and goal, but um for the Bengals. The okay, the first time they ran, they got a yard when they were inside field goal range. The and they got a yard. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, you do a quick short pass here because you never want to like have your guy super pressured for a fifty yard kick. Yeah, get as close as possible. Especially, and then I'm like, they ran the again in the lost yards. Yep, they lost two. Or like, were you were you done, John? Because I I was gonna say something similar. Yeah. For example, right? Like, if you have one of the best QBs in the league, would you like? But, like, if you're let, – let's reverse it, right? Let's say the run game is working and the passing game isn't working. Would you run the ball to, like, you know, stop the clock or to k- let the clock burn out? Like, let's say you're in the fourth quarter, right? You're trying to force mm-hmm. overtime. Would you uh, Would you pass the ball with the opportunity to potentially stop the clock if you have an incompletion because none of your receivers can catch the fucking ball? Or – would you keep <laughs> running? Would you keep running? Like it, 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 you gotta. Yeah, I was gonna say. I was like, I wonder when Eunice will realize what I'm actually talking it's about. Just for me. But uh, uh, what's but, it called? The only, the only I, last thing I just want to say real quick. The only way what the Bengals did would have been excusable is if they had a kicker who's known. It has a mul- multitude experiences in those situations, like Koo for the Falcons, or yeah. Jake Elliott, or Aubrey, or Justin Tucker, whatever, right? That all these kickers who built their careers around, oh shit, you need a fucking 90 yard field goal and there's two seconds left on the clock and the game's up. Bet. Like, yeah, that's like- their careers. They built for that. Who did it actually in the Bucks Falcons game to tie for OT? It was like 58 yards. Easy money. Yeah. Yeah, there's some kickers that are... All, but the, even then, the snap got messed up. So... Yeah. You know, that's why they should have at least tried to go for it. Because then you can lower the factors and, you know, kicking it from... Instead of, like, 56, you know, kicking it from 24... Okay. Okay. Is better. Okay. Would it have made more sense for them as soon as they got it within range to go for the kick? No. no. It depends on where they're at. Like, what do you mean by in range? Like, Well, they were at the 30-yard. Which, no, they were a little bit further than that, but I get what you The exact thing was 56 yards, so you're saying they should have just gone for it 56 yards, like from the start. Like I understand wanting to get closer, I'm just trying to see oh. how that situation could have changed. So they yeah. could have done that and just won the game, but they shouldn't have done that because you because... always want to try to get closer. Yeah. Okay. Unless like you're yeah. already close. Like if you're within 30 yards of a kick, then just kick it and you win. Fucking pray yeah. to save this and kick that bitch. Yeah, yeah. No, I get that. The reason I say I'm asking this, I'm assuming if you kick a field goal miss, no matter what down you're on, it turns over. I think so. I I, th- I because think that's so. why people tend like yes, people tend to do it on the fourth down because you know you want to get as close as possible. Yeah. But I feel like the other thing would be because hey. If we miss, it's a turnover. You know? Um, once the ball crosses yeah. the line, the ball is turned over to the other. Yep, so yeah, it's turned it over. The first down and it passed the line of scrimmage, yeah, it would turn. So, okay. yeah, they just want to try to get closer. But they did, they did a bad job. They, verdict, yeah. and, and afterwards, Joe Burrow said that they're not a championship-level team. They're not. And they're, you're they're going one and four. literally you're oh, one and four. You're, you're not. Wrong. The offense is definitely there. That's the thing. I honestly feel like their uh, their playoff hopes are in jeopardy, but I think they still have a pretty good shot. Like yeah, I think they have a pretty uh, easy okay. schedule. Yeah, wild card. 
Oh yeah, wild as a wild card team, as a wild card. Yep. Team. But uh, then we had the Speaking worst of wild card teams. Yeah, the worst <laughs> game of my fucking life. No, we're gonna win the division because everybody else is horrible. Who's in your division? The Jets, Dolphins, and Patriots. Never mind. Hey, I don't know, bro. <laughs> A new coach for the Jets might take him all the way. No, the fuck he will not. So Hey, we'll find out this week. I here here's what I have to say about the, the Bills game, right? This was genuinely like last week but reversed. Like <laughs> It was the the defense was like like the Legion of Boom. Like they <laughs> they actually they CJ Stroud threw a pick when like to no one. Like it, it was an underthrown ball in the middle of the field that got picked off and then he fumbled. And not on back to back snaps, just like he did it in the same game. The that defense would be impressive if it was back to back. Uh, dude, that'd be like me playing Madden, and I just like just want to relax and stuff, and then I throw eight picks in a game. Uh, my my most I think is seven. Um, but it, th- this was like I this was so stressful. It was C.J. Stroud. As soon as Nico Collins got hurt, C.J. Stroud became Deshaun Watson. Like it's like. He he forgot how to play football when Nico Collins got hurt. And then just the another person who forgot how to play football, Josh Allen. He threw <laughs> I, I gotta look it up. I gotta look it up. So I, I can tell you the exact I say, numbers. I love that image of Diggs side eyeing that yeah, I, 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 I just wanna like, say I just wanna say like people like fuck off! Like that's what I have to say. Like, <laughs> John, okay. Leave me alone. Okay, before before we continue with me about to like shit on the Bills, Stefan Diggs wanted to leave. Like, he he's the one that that said I want to go. It wasn't he just got traded out of nowhere. It was the the motherfucker didn't want to stay because he's full of himself and he just wants to get as many targets as possible. Uh-huh. So, he... I mean, yeah, week one, he was yelling at CJ Stroud. Yeah, and that's going to continue. And honestly, I don't even think he's going to stay on the Texans next year. I think he's going to go to a different team and then this is going to, like, the cycle is going to repeat. It, it it happens... This happened in Minnesota. He, he He's like... He requested to be traded in Minnesota because he wasn't getting enough targets. It happened in Buffalo. Wherever he goes after this, because this is a one-year deal, I assume this is going to happen again. So people who are like saying this is the, the Stefan Diggs revenge game, what revenge? If anything, like we're the ones who should want revenge. He wasted our time last year. I just want to say, I think the idea of revenge games is stupid. It depends on the context. Like the, only, like, the only Seahawks... Fucking, you got me to say the word. I really <laughs> up. I uh, the only yeah. revenge game that I could think of that, like, had meaning was Lions versus Rams in the playoffs last year. Like, mm-hmm. that had meaning. Yeah. Or, I did like, feel low when uh, like, but, like, these the games, staffers had whipped off the ground. There. I was like, all right. But, like, yeah. there's, like, these games, though, that the media advertises, like, here is the revenge game of the third-string safety for the Chicago Bears. They're like, okay, bro, let's drag it. It's like, what what revenge? Like, Stefan Diggs, he's an asshole. He's a crybaby. And he he's the one who wanted to leave. And then he is like all pissed off like cj shroud was saying like oh we're trying to win this for it might not have been cj shroud it was somebody on the texans said that they want to win the game for stefan diggs for what reason like wait what stefan diggs reminds me of he reminds me but like in the opposite way of obj both have great moments in their careers but will be known for a while except obj gets traded because 
or excuse me, he just gets on a million teams because he just gets injured a lot. But he's such a nice guy. Stefan Diggs is the uh, opposite. So OBJ's kind of a diva. Like, OBJ's... Do you know about OBJ's dad? Yeah. Like, in the Baker Mayfield stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, they they kind of have the same aura. Or, uh, I feel like. Stefan Diggs, yeah. But I feel like Stefan Diggs is more of a whiny, like, piss baby. So... It, He's definitely been chasing. That's literally his whole goal. That's why he went to in the first place. He thought, oh shit, Josh Allen's this guy. The, the, this is looking like this. I could probably win a championship here. Didn't happen. Pissed him, cried about it. He hears about this new guy named CJ Stroud that everyone's saying is the next big thing since sliced bread. So he's like, I'm going to go on like, that team. And no, I promise, if he doesn't win shit this year, all right, here he comes uh, next year. Uh, oh, Jaden Daniels? That's the new big guy? Uh, I'll go to, I'll go to the I Rivers. would not be surprised if I saw he, Diggs on the Chiefs. And I love, like, I forgot what game Texans won. But Texans won, and Stevon Diggs was pissed because he didn't get enough touchdown recep- uh, reception. Uh, you know what Stevon Diggs reminds me of? He reminds me of C.D. Lamb. <laughs> Bro. Because, because C.D. Lamb, you want to talk about a crybaby? Let me talk about C.D. Lamb. You know Tyler won? Yeah. He went on this huge rant last year after the playoff loss to the Green Bay. Mm-hmm. And he was literally talking about it. He literally brought it up, too. And that's when like, I first started to get He's like, look at C.D. Lamb. Everyone on that bench, everyone that's sitting on the sidelines is mad. They're pissed off. They're disappointed. A few of those guys are crying. C.D. Lamb is, like, laughing. He's having fun because he got his stats. He got his big number to put on a shiny little plaque for himself. He doesn't care. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. But, uh, but yeah, this game was horrible. Uh, a lot of people said it was fun. It was not fun if you're a Bills fan. It, <laughs> it, it And then... I okay. Can we talk about that at the end? I what did you say? Can we talk about what happened at the end? Yes, of course we're gonna talk about what happened at the end. So I'm just trying to figure out what what ha- like in chronological order. So All right. the Bills defense was a lot better. Texans defense was like mid as fuck. Texans offense just kept shooting themselves in the foot. Nico Collins gets hurt. No Bills Oh yeah, I forgot. That's why I pulled up the stats. So, Josh Allen completed nine passes for 131 yards and one touchdown. Nine out of what? 30. Fuck me. Dude. I thought you were about to say some shit like 15 or whatever. No. 30? This was his worst. I think this was his worst game completion percentage-wise ever. Saying nine completion sounds like, oh, they did a run game, you know? Yeah, I'm thinking like it's yeah. a run-heavy game, you know? 15 passes total, nine got completed. All right, that's cool. James Cook probably popped off. What? He did. He almost he, he got 82 yards. But he had a 30 completion rate on the dock. This genuinely, like, every time he started throwing the ball, my, my heart sank into my stomach because I was like, this is going to, like, either be the best thing ever or the he worst did thing pick. ever. And this is like, and he never, and he didn't get a pick. Like, that would have been the only thing that could have made it worse. I was gonna say that would have been the icing on the cake was him throwing a yeah. game losing interception. But I think at the moment, I would find you like in a hospital with slit wrist. I was so I was like, and then we started making a comeback. the 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 game started getting better Good. in the third quarter, and that was when like everybody. Like, the offense was so bad. Like, Keon Coleman did not turn around when he was supposed yeah. to and then got, like, nailed in the head by a ball. Cool. Like, I still like Keon Coleman, but, like, dude, that, when I, because he got that awesome touchdown. But, like, when I yeah, saw yeah. that, my blood was boiling. Like, I. I was like, dude, are you fucking kidding me? Like that that's the icing on the kick. Khalil Shakir think- is is gonna be back next week, I think. Please, Brandon Bean trade for Devontae Adams. Uh, I feel like a few things that could have made it worse, besides the interception, of course, that didn't happen. Um, was like imagine if uh, that was like a primetime game, so all of us were watching it. Oh at my once. god, I would literally Imagine bro- me, my brother, and Gus. All three of us, the fucking trio, 
in your DMs. <laughs> That'd be horrible. So a lot of th- uh, one thing a lot of people were talking about after the game as well was the Josh Allen uh, hitting his head on the ground. Um, I think that happened in the third quarter as well. Um, it might have been the th- yeah, I think it was the third quarter. So Josh Allen gets tackled, and then the way that he gets like brought to the ground, he like slams his head on the ground. Uh, some people are saying that he looked like he passed out for a second, but I don't know. He did when he got up. He said there was something like his chest was bothering him, not his head. So they took him to... This is the official story, not the the speculation. He went to the medical tent, got checked out. They said there was nothing wrong with his chest. Then they evaluated him for a concussion, and they said he didn't have a concussion. And then they just let him go back out there. I think he missed one snap. That was it. Uh, okay. What I'm going to assume what happened is, you know, people saying he passed out. Yeah. All I think that happened is, if anything, he probably, like, just was sitting there closed because of the pain in his chest and just did not want to move. That's what I thought it looked like because he was just on the ground, like, struggling to get up because he was so shooken up. Like, he, yeah. he took, first of all, he got hit. Nasty hit from one guy, and then one guy, like, had to jump to just barely graze him. So, I mean, this motherfucker's getting, like, dis- like absolutely destroyed by defenders. Uh, what happened to your own line? What did you say? What happened to your own line? Uh, well, they, it only happened, like, once. The old line was no, a lot man, better like... this game. Okay. They they were bad last game, but they were they were so much better this game. Cool. But uh, then the last, <laughs> so, so I am thinking, okay, the game's over because the Tekken, the Texans get the ball, and it's like a fifty-six yard field goal, or like almost fifty yard field goal. I'm like, okay, the game's over. But the to to get the ball, they had to do one more play. And for some reason, C.J. Shroud decided to throw the ball to no one. So it was intentional grounding. So it backed them up 10 yards so they couldn't kick the field goal. So they punt to the Bills. The Bills are on their own, like, second or third yard line. So if nobody can catch the ball the entire game... (laughs) And you have arguably, like, a top five running back... What would uh-huh. you do? Would you run the ball or would you pass the ball? Because if they run the ball, you can force overtime. If you pass you know the ball, you stop the clock every time you get an incompletion. <laughs> you know what I think happened? And I'm saying this is my prediction. In what? the Ravens game, something similar happened, right? They're at the two yard line. They try to run the ball. Their kind of got stopped and it was a safety. I think that's what they were scared of. Well, I guess, but they were three yards like out. We have such a good O line. Just they James if James Cook it thought all they have to do is burn time or make them use their timeouts. Instead How much time was up? Uh twenty something yeah. seconds. Bro, why didn't they run it? Wait, it, did the Texans have any timeouts? Three. But at oh, the, I, never, I was say, fucking take that knee, bitch. You got three yards to stand on grass. At the very uh-huh. least, at the very least, you burn clock. You have to at least try. They did not <laughs> fucking try. So, I... There's so much more I could say. I am going to end my mini rant by saying I absolutely fucking hate, more than anything, Sean McDermott. I, um, so, uh, Robert Sala will be coming to replace him. I, no, because I don't want a defensive-minded head coach. I don't even think Sala's a bad coach. I just don't want a defensive-minded head coach. Right, I right, want... Fine. Bill Belichick. He is a defensive-minded head coach. I well, want... clearly needed to... I want Ben Johnson. Please. Please. Okay, win your ring... 
and then come to the Bills. Because we cannot keep doing this with Sean Mc... Every year, there is some new special game that... With it, there is some new special, like, saying that Bills fans get, like, every single year. 13 seconds. Wide right. Uh, well, you've used wide right a few times. This, this wide game. Left. Wide left. Yeah, yeah wide I guess left. You left it. Uh, this game, there was 26 seconds left. And they were like, yeah, I'm going to throw the ball three times. Doesn't work. Oops. Punt. So... It's just like, I, I, and I know that he's not going to get fired because unless the only way that Sean McDermott actually gets fired is if he either quits, kills someone, or has like multiple losing seasons because he's unfortunately too good of friends with the owner and the GM. But That's- if I was the GM, the second the season, I would tell Sean McDermott that if he cannot get us to the AFC Championship game, his ass is gone. And I would tell him that yesterday. Because I I, I am so sick of this shit. Like, every year, it's like there's something new. Or like 12, I remember another one. Last year, we played the Broncos. They missed the field goal to win the game. So we won the game. But then... There was a flag. There were 12 men on the field. How do you do that? I feel like every time I see a Bills game, I get secondhand depression from Riley. It is, it is. I have yet to watch, I have yet to watch a single Bills game where the whole time I'm not thinking, poor Riley. It was horrible. Like, it, it was, it was absolutely horrible. Uh, and I can't wait to do it all next week because <laughs> I know Eunice was like, well, like yesterday before Salah got fired, Eunice was like, come on, Riley, the Bills are, or the, the Jets are not going to be hard to beat. They're not. And I said, well, you would think that, wouldn't you? But, <laughs> but I'm sure we're going to find a way. All right. But that all was right. that. Colts, Jags. Right, Colts, Jags. Uh, Jags won. It really was a nothing game. Jags won for the season. Blacko shows that he's well, team gets it together, baby. I said they're going to have a comeback, baby. This is it. Yeah. If the Jags this is it. make playoffs, Sam, uh, or BJ, I'll slaughter you. No, Jags make playoff. I need mm-hmm. to, that one random person listening to this. Find me. Give me some money. <laughs> I need it. I'm broke. Dolphins, Patriots. If Gus were here, he would be very upset. He, he made like six TikToks. Yeah, he made a TikTok about it, and it was hilarious. Basically, he was just screaming like, "What the fuck was that shit?" Uh, you know what's so? What were you gonna say? Uh, I was gonna say, you know what's so funny? Gus is very open with these games, so he'll type in the group chat like throughout the whole game. It, it's so fun to go back and read like the slow decay into madness. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, we're the best. Oh, we gotta stop. Wait, what? Yeah, he he gets and then silence. He's because very he killed himself. Yeah, and then he, and then he just kills himself. <laughs> Did we we're, just, yeah, we're very. He's very passionate about the patient. That's why he's not here, guys. Yeah. While I have this opportunity, that touchdown from Polk should have counted. I Sorry, like I said didn't watch, and then the the Cleveland Browns lost. Wait, wait, I just wanted to say yes. I am learning necromancy. He's coming back next week. Don't worry. Mm. I hope so, because we none of him. you guys can stay dead on my watch. <laughs> hey, dude, that's a challenge. That, that I like. I like oh, the sound of that. While you're at peace in heaven, I'm dragging you back down to earth. I'm just like no, no. Uh, Here. what were we saying, uh, Eunice? Um, what's it called? Um, feel free to look in Maine whenever you want. That's the touchdown that they did not count. I will look right now. Literally, ESPN, did they say, like, ah, uh, reels in a last-second touchdown to put oh, the Patriots... Oh, okay. 
unless it's ruled incomplete. Touchdown, yeah, but the pass gets ruled incomplete. Yeah, wow. But uh, the Browns got blown out by Jane Daniels. Respect. Uh, I I hope next week he blows out a different AFC North team. But yeah, yeah, and he's very he's pretty much versing the better version of himself. Well, he's not playing Josh Allen quite yet, but uh-huh. maybe hey, in a uh huh. Maybe years. Uh, we don't have to talk about any. Let's not talk about the past. Let's talk about the present and the future. You know what? You're right. Congratulations, Jaden Daniels, doing a great job on the team. No one believed in him from the start, and I love to see him shine bright. Yes. And we'll talk about a team no. that shines dark. Uh, or or should I say maybe brown? Uh, in a, the Browns. Nice? We'll talk about What's the Browns. What's there left to say about the Browns? I honestly. have so much. You still got more than like, pink? Oh, yeah. Oh, Bro, yeah. He's about to become a, a Black Lantern. He was just talking about, like... I was like is... that... Yeah, I was like, I'm going to end that because it started getting kind of racial. Like... <laughs> uh, it was dark. Anyway. The Bra- the Broncos beat the Raiders. They snapped their streak of losing to the Raiders. Hey, respect to that. And they didn't even just beat them. They blew their backs they blew out. Them. Did you see uh, Max Crosby talking to Bo Nix? Yeah. Speak up. They can't hear. And meanwhile, they're getting blown out. Like <laughs> He's like, speak up, Bo. They can't fucking hear you. You know what's funny? Before I knew what happened in that game, I had just seen the clip. And I know he wasn't. I'm not that stupid. But for just a split second, I thought, is he giving him real advice? <laughs> I know. For a second, I was like, well, that's nice of him. But then and I was then like, you realize, oh. yeah, he's making fun of him. <laughs> but Cardinals, hold on to beat the Niners. <laughs> yeah, because uh, yeah, the... You know, I can't believe Debo Samuel only scored three fucking fantasy points. If he didn't sell, I would have beat you, Eunice. Oh, uh, but you didn't. Yep, I didn't. Uh, Packers beat the Rams. Actually, no, he got a touchdown, too. I would just do one. Yeah, but usually Debo puts up 20. Mm-hmm. Uh, that means you would have lost by one. <laughs> Yeah, well, Debo and the and Jordan Mason, because Jordan Mason only got like five. And you also have Kittle. And you also have Kittle. Oh, he was he did fantastic. I heard he might be fucking injured again, so can't wait to see that. Uh, the Packers beat the Rams. Did you did you guys see the hilarious interception Jordan Love threw? Yeah, through? that two that two yard thing that he threw to avoid getting a safety. He threw a pick six. So, Jordan Love, I'm just going to describe it for Dijon and the viewers. Jor- Jordan Love gets sacked, but Why he's... Why did you call me out? Because you, did you watch Packers-Rams, Dijon? No, but that was crazy. That's why, well, I'm just saying because Eunice saw it. Let me describe it for Dijon and viewers. You know like... what, Dijon? I am, I'm, de- I'm going to buy Sparking Zero to kick your ass. <laughs> you can try <laughs> yeah. Why like, is you, okay, my man Eunice. You know what? Yep, that's my man. Hey, I know for a fact you're gonna be grinding that bitch out. Just beat the shit out of you. Man, I already got it downloaded. I got a count now <laughs> waiting on my PlayStation, bro. I already know <laughs> what it is, bro. Hercule, Frieza Soldier number 13. Yamcha. That's the squad. <laughs> but uh No I'm, What are you saying, Sean? Um, honestly, um, I mean, I didn't watch the game, but I did, I, I, I did not expect it to be, I guess, this close. Right. 24-19. Within five. Yeah. But, uh. Yeah, Jordan Love was about to get sacked, and he was in his own end zone, so he was going to throw a safety, or he was going to get a safety, so he threw the ball away, but he threw it to a defender who uh, walked it in for, like, a five-yard touchdown, or, like, it might have been only three-yard touchdown. Like, it was really funny. Did he just not, like, just 
puck it to like the end zone. He threw it like towards the side, and then it. I mean, that's the end zone. Yeah. He was trying to throw it to the right, but he threw it too far forward by just like a couple inches, and that was just enough. The Giants beat the Seahawks. All right, no. Well, Another reason why Dijon someone... got so many correct picks. You know, you know, you know the real reason. You don't like the Seahawks. It's no, it's because after every so far, after every game against the Lions, the next oh, game I was going to bring play, that up later. They lose. Yep. They lose. I was going to bring that up. We tire them out. Mm hmm. <laughs> You're welcome, we Giants fans. Wait, don't the Bills versus the Lions this Week 15. That means at least week 16. That means week 16, Riley. Get ready for disappointment, bro. Wait, let me see who we're playing week 16. Yeah, I, I honestly week... think it's the Jets. <laughs> it's, the it's, it's the Patriots. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go. Oh, hey, man. No one talking about, no one talking about us, bro. You know what's funny? So we're playing the Patriots at home, but then week 18 we play... I think week 17 we play the Jets in New Jersey. Oh, no, we play the Jets in Buffalo. And then week 18, which is the last week before the playoffs, we play the Patriots, but we play them in Foxborough. And that's going to be a crazy game. Honestly, the Besides Patriots might win that last game. I feel like the Patriots might win that last game just because like by then... the Bills will have their playoff seed, and there's no point of going for a number one seed if it's too far to so just sit out your start. That is a hundred percent true. I have a feeling the way that the that last game went, that that's not gonna fucking happen. Hey, by the way, that will not stop the shit talking to us. It does not matter. A win's a win. Yeah, but uh then we had Sunday night football. Or yeah, Sunday night football. Got delayed oh, by like an hour and a half. I Cowboys, uh, Cowboys, Steelers. It was boring. Cowboys won. Oh, I had... so I was going to bring this up. Dak Prescott became the first player in NFL history oh, to throw two uh, two interceptions in the same game on different days. <laughs> so because the game was delayed, he threw a pick uh, on... Sunday night, and then he threw another pick on Monday morning because of the delay. Dude. Okay, if we really want to... I know they're talking about it because it's in the same time zone, yeah. but if we really want to be specific, come on now. You could probably find a different game and say, well, technically in um, Eastern in Russia, China... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, True. True, but it was so, it was I'm East not Coast. Trying to, like help Dak Prescott out. I'm just saying, <laughs> he I still sucks. I, this is the I one agree. game where I had nobody to root for, not even in the slightest. Because fuck the Cowboys, because obviously I was rooting for Aubrey because I wanted points on my fantasy. I was rooting for <laughs> Steelers. I, was, no, I, can't I root was for the Steelers. For the Steelers like... defense just so that Aubrey could kick. I was thinking about this. If we had the, if the Bills had the Steelers defense, we would win eight Super Bowls. Like, well, I don't know about that. Nine for thirty. Hey, that is a, that's that's a one-time thing in a oh, not sweet. the regular season. Yeah, it's a one-time thing. Can can you find another time when that happened? Last Ravens. He threw more than nine passes. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I uh, yeah, he was sixteen for twenty nine. That's that's better. It's like fifty percent. <laughs> all right, all right. Next game. Oh uh, shit! I did, I did oh, the math wrong. It's seventy six percent. That's fucking awesome. Oh wait, oh, I clicked the wrong number. That's fifty five percent. Oops. <laughs> Um, All right, uh, Monday Night Football. Yeah, Monday Night Football, Saints, uh, Saints, Chiefs. Uh, all I have to say about this is that it was also boring, and except, um, except the guy who, guy. yeah, the touchdown. Dude, those are my favorite moments in all of the NFL when a big guy gets his chance. Yeah, and uh, also Derek Carr is going to miss multiple weeks. Oh no, he will be missed dearly. 
this well, team really needed him. They uh, they said that Spencer Rattler is is right now who it looks like is going to replace him. Uh, Spencer Rattler was who they drafted in the second round, I believe, last year. So a rookie getting his start, hopefully. But that was all of week five. Before we before get to week we six, get... what were we going to say? I was going to say, before we get into week six, I have a trade proposal, trade proposal in my head. Imagine this in real life. Okay. I just want you to tell me, as honestly as you can, your exact reaction to this, okay? okay. Imagine this, okay? Yes. The Dolphins and the Bills trade QBs, like the Rams and Lions did. Nope. I'm telling you, like, in your head, like, tell me what you're doing. Killing myself. <laughs> Whoa, uh, you want to up? I would rather call. Oh, hundred percent. So like, you would, so you wouldn't be upset if Jared Goff and Josh Allen traded. I, I would wouldn't absolutely be. be upset. I. DJ, what would it be? I. <laughs> I would be upset. I, I just if if I if gun to my head. You know what? Let me. I have a list actually. I see well, like the exact scenario he was about to say. Gun to my head. I have to trade Josh Allen somewhere. I'm gonna tell him to shoot. Uh, yeah, no, 100. percent Okay, gun to my head. You guys would do pretty good with Bur- Burrow. Yeah, actually. Oh yeah, yeah with Burrow. Oh, 100. percent I not think too much. Honestly, I think the only quarterbacks. Who's young? Young. There is literally uh, no quarterback I would rather have than Josh Allen. Like well, yeah, by now the team's built around him. And there there is literally no even if the team wasn't, there is no team, there is no quarterback I would rather have than Josh Allen. If I had I'm to tra- just... if I had to trade Josh Allen somewhere, uh I think the only team I would say yes to is Burrow. Honestly, and... I kind of feel the same way about you with like Lamar. Like, yeah. I'd rather still keep Lamar on the Ravens than I, I, I wouldn't take Mahomes. And I know that's stupid because like, oh, I wouldn't want take Mahomes team. either. <laughs> it's not okay. like, oh you want the championship you want this like yeah all the games are boring as fuck uh, it's... question would you guys follow the QB or would you still root for the like you I would the still team? root I would... for my team but I would still also keep an eye out on my QB I agree I would root for the, if, root for the team sorry I would if I could if if I had to watch a game if Josh Allen got traded and it's like Bill's already played I have nothing to do that I'm watching. Where it's funny because my family has asked me this so many times. What would you do if Josh Allen got traded? What would you do if Josh? Because I talk about him so much. Uh, if if Josh Allen got traded, I would watch the Bills. But if the like if he's if whatever team he gets traded to, Falcons. Uh, it, if whatever team he gets traded to is playing, I would watch that team. After, like, if the Bills weren't playing at the same time, if he ends up in the Super Bowl, which pff, at this fucking point is probably what's going to end up happening, uh, if he ends up in the Super Bowl and it's like not the Bills that he's playing against, then fucking I'd root for his ass all day. But yeah, no, Bills all the way. But he wouldn't, he won't leave. They didn't have to kick him out. Dijon, did you know what I learned? What? Did you know Verlander didn't want to be traded? Yeah. I didn't know that. I he apparent like when they told him that he that they were trading him, he was like, "Please don't do that." And they he said he didn't want to do it, and they were like, "We're going to give you some time to reconsider." <laughs> Cuz <laughs> the Tigers were so ass, they were like, "We're doing this out of pity, bro." Like and and look what happened. But we kicked I mean, our ass. I mean, I mean, he made it to the World Series, so I know they 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 did so well with him. Yeah. Uh, okay. I mean, I mean, okay. In that standpoint, I think it was just out of straight um, loyalty mm-hmm. to the team. But. For example, if it was a Diggs situation, you'd be like, man. Get his ass out of there. But Diggs wanted to leave. But anyway. Yeah. So I have a couple things I want to run through. 
before we predict week six. We're going to do them pretty quick. I'm going to try to. Uh, one of these things I want to talk about a lot. Drake May is going to start on Sunday. Uh, he is playing the Texans. Not a good idea. I, I know Gus made a TikTok about it. Unfortunately, he cannot be here um, to share his opinion with us. Uh, stupid as hell idea. Because I said to Gus a couple weeks ago, God rest his soul. Um <laughs> That I thought that they might uh, start him just out of sheer panic because f football, like NFL teams, even if it's like, okay, this season we're going to tank, like, no one, I, I personally don't believe that they ever, who the fuck added me in the group chat? Oh, it was, uh, it wasn't me. Never mind. Uh, I personally don't believe... So you just have notifications on and you saw an at and it was like, who added me? It said at G, which is the start of my username. And then I was like, oh, someone must have added me. It was Gus. It wasn't me. It was Samer. Uh, but I thought like, okay, out of sheer panic, they're going to start Drake May. And Gus was like, no, they're not going to do that. They're, they're going to let him develop. Well, they're fucking doing it. So, Dude, Gus just sent me something like a couple hours ago. Gus sent me a video that it, and I want to strangle him when he comes back to life. Mm -hmm. It's the fucking Nakua girl eating the fucking Mr. Beast Lunchable saying, I lock my trees jippy like that. I like my trees jippy, bro. Oh, he sent it to you too. No, I've seen it a lot. Ah, oh, you whore. <laughs> All never, right. It never stops being funny. It, it stopped being funny. Well, I disagree with you. Alright, well. But yeah, they should not start Drake May. Bad idea. They're going to. They're, they're already fucking doing it. But I think, that's, I think, in my opinion, just fuck it. Tank the season. Get another first-round pick. Grab, like, a wide receiver one. Grab, like, someone like Isaiah Bond or something. Mm -hmm. and then, Travis Hunter. And then Travis Hunter, too. And then start making magic happen. Because the defense is there. That's... Mostly. That's the thing. The defense is good. The offense is bad, but the O line is bad. They have no wide receivers. Their tight end is, is Hunter Henry is good. Um, That's what I'm saying. Use the draft. Build up your old line. Use the free agency. You have like the second most cap space next year. So free agency comes around. There's Amari Cooper, Hopkins. Mm -hmm. uh, all these oh no, Amari Cooper is going to be on the Bills. Don't he? He's, he's, good. he's spoken for. Uh huh. With what cap space? We don't need cap. Cap isn't real. <laughs> No cap. Anyway, uh, but, but no, I I think that it's a stupid idea. So, I I but but it would be hilarious if they end up winning. I hope they Bro, do, because I, I hate the Texans myself. now. I just reminded of some, myself of something, DJ. In Sparking Zero, when um Vegeta is fighting his son, like the kid Trunks, he tells mm -hmm. him like, if you land a punch on me, amusement park, you know, from the show, and then Trunk replies. Really? No cap? Dude, I saw that. Right. This is why you shouldn't have children. <laughs> Next, we have... Yeah, you him. Next, we have... Uh... So, I'm... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Just say it. I, I feel like I'm going to forget it if we, like... You can just cut this out. But, uh, dude... I'm not going to. I saw a little bit of the, um... Of the, uh... Like different timelines. Mm hmm. Oh, the what ifs? Yeah. Dude, the yeah. fact, the fact that you can just completely have Frieza come to you instead of Planet going to Planet Namek is crazy. Did you not see the possible timeline with Vegeta on Namek? Okay. No. I don't give any spoilers. Because, yeah, no, no, because I was watching a YouTuber and he didn't do uh, all that. He, like, ended the episode was like, all right, next time. All right, but you know that one thing about – all right, this was in the trailer, so I know you saw this. Yeah. Like, you know that one scene? Like, what if Goku went Super Saiyan against Vegeta when he first came to Earth? Yeah. That storyline is probably the best one to go Mm. mm. You okay. could also say Yamcha in it. That's funny. Like, oh, like he saved Yamcha. 
uh, Yamcha in his too because he beat a Raditz. Yeah. Well, no, and in then, this one, in this one that I'm thinking of, he died. But in the in the anime, he woke up late, and that's why he got there so late. This one's like he went there on. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, no, right, and the right. one I and the one I saw him do, he beat Raditz. Was fine because everyone was there for some reason. I did, I wasn't really following, but uh, like Krillin, um. Piccolo and Gohan were there, and I'm like, why are these people here? Um, the reason is in the manga, or just in the original show, they were Krillin and stuff. They were on their way, but Goku got there. Like Goku and Piccolo got there like way before him, but like they were on their. Mm. So I guess like what if it's like what if they got there on time and Goku had backup? Yeah. All right, all right. So okay. what I was gonna say was, I want to talk about, uh. The are arguably the worst cornerback, the quarterback in the NFL. Travis, uh, uh, Will Levis. Uh, no, <laughs> bro, almost no. defaulted. Deshaun Watson. Ah, that one. Deshaun Watson. So, I, I, I I'm gonna say one nice thing about him. Can you? It's hard, but I'll give it a try. I like his jersey number. I don't. Um, he so there's a clip going around from the Browns Commanders game of him jogging or him just slowly walking off the field, and Kevin Stefanski was like trying to yell at him that he wanted to go for it on fourth down. Apparently, he was walking off the field because he was trying to avoid a twelve men on the field penalty, because. Some of the people thought they were going to kick the field goal, and some of them thought they weren't were going to go for it. Uh, does not change how bad he is at football. Uh, Stephen A. Smith says something like hilarious. He said, "If you could arrest someone for being bad at football, uh, uh, that he wishes they could arrest Deshaun Watson for being bad at football." He. I saw something where it's like, is he? a worse football player than he is in like than he is as in real life. I also saw that. No. <laughs> because he's done so much bad stuff that it would be hard. The only one who All can right. get close is Daniel Jones. So yeah, he's he's horrible. But the reason well, I'm bringing no, this at least Daniel Jones has more than one win. That's true. Deshaun Watson I think has only started 17 games since he was traded because of how many injuries he has. Do you know? What did you say? And oh yes, and, and the suspension. Do you know what his record is in those seventeen starts? I'm assuming like what, like four wins, five wins. It's nine and eight. Oh my god! Oh, it's a season. <laughs> I was gonna say he has literally won. He made playoffs. He Baker Mayfield is was such a better quarterback than him and the Brown, I hope the Browns regret trading him. They said they have no uh no like, intention of in, yes, of intention of, of changing quarterbacks. Genuinely, I give it another I think if I they I know they're lying. I know they're oh, lying. They're lying. Their teeth. They're, 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 they're lying. The they're just trying to get the season done first and then Milro. I think I think they have, like, the first or second overall draft pick if the season ended today. They have to play the Eagles, Bengals, and Ravens. Those are their next three games. If they <laughs> if they do not win one of them, which I do not think they will, uh, they are... I think Watson gets benched between week 9 and 10. Do you guys... What do you think? I don't know anymore, man. I think they're going to thug it out with him. I hope they trade him because I I don't even dislike the Browns as like an organization. I dislike Deshaun Watson, which makes me not want to root for them. The thing is, who the fuck is gonna trade for him? Oh no, you can't trade him. You have to release him, or he's the most. Ex- Actually, I take it back. Deshaun Watson is gonna be the most expensive backup quarterback of all time. So I wanted to tell you guys about this uh, Twitter account. It's called Leroy Bickerstaff, right? Yeah. I'll send you guys the link. This is speculated to be Deshaun Watson's burner. And 
Oh, if oh you, I know what you're talking about. If you actually read the tweets, it is either a really good troll or the worst burner like that I've ever seen. That isn't it like that cat was like, I think he's the best, guys. You know, I think he just needs more help in the backfield or something. Uh, like yes, he, he, he literally he literally said, like, this is, like I said, this is either the the best troll of all time or a poor excuse to, to disguise a burner account. Like, the worst cover-up in history. So... I mean, he knows how to cover things up. That... Well, actually, he likes to stay uncovered. But, like, he... This account was just made. It literally has his jersey number in the, the app. Has no banner, no profile picture. And it has tweeted only like 38 times. And it's all about Deshaun Watson. It's never about anybody else except Deshaun Watson. So, yeah, horrible. Um, but that's all I really want to talk about with for Deshaun Watson. I just thought, I saw that and then was reading the tweets. I follow him because he's it's hilarious. Then we have the... Okay, I just want to describe to you guys my day. I woke up this morning, I look at my phone, my jaw hits the floor, because I saw Robert Sala was fired. Rightfully. I I don't think so. Let me... I mean, fuck, man, you're 20 and 36. Okay, no, can, okay. can you... I will say, I, the only thing I know about it is people were joking saying um, that uh, A-Rod actually fi like fired him, not... You know. Oh yeah, it, yeah, but hundred percent. Uh, can I can I ask you a question, uh, Eunice? Can you name every Jets quarterback under, um, Robert Sala? Aaron Rodgers, uh, Zach Wilson. Yep. Um, fuck. He used to coach at. I I I don't know what his team was before the Jets. That was it, the Vikings. Who? Uh, uh, Ahmed Salah. Didn't he coach at a different... He was the DC for uh, the Niners. That's what he was, yeah. I saw a take that was like, come back to us and shit. Yeah, he was the defensive coordinator for the yeah. Niners. Eck Wilson, Aaron Rodgers. So, actually, oh. it was uh, <laughs> the starting quarterbacks for the Jets. Oh. Sam Darnold. Oh, right. Zach Wilson. Mike White, Joe Flacco, Zach Wilson, Tim Boyle, Trevor Simeon, and Aaron Rodgers. How many of those quarterbacks would you consider good? Sam Darnold. Uh, but that was Sam Darnold's rookie year. He was so bad. Like, you got to go back and watch. He was horrible. Like, he, he threw... Maybe it was the coaching. What Sam Darnold throwing like how many he he threw like an absurd amount of picks in a game one time. I don't take back what I said. <laughs> You're not convincing me here. Sam okay. Darnold threw four picks in a game. Four in one game that happened this season. What was that? Jordan Love threw three. Someone threw four interceptions in a game. CJ Stroud, was it CJ Stroud when he went Viking? I don't think so. <sighs> Nonetheless, let's get this boat started. Hold on one second, guys. Okay. In that case, let me put the fucking turkey back in the fridge. Don't make Mets one, baby, Mets. Let's go Mets. It's all about the Mets. Okay, I'm back. I've had five turkey sandwiches in this. Uh, Riley, give me a second. I need to all put right. turkey back Rich. What I was going to say was, is that I personally don't believe, like, <laughs> the fuck? Yeah. Did I? Dijon, wait, the Mets won? So there, it's 2-1. Yep. Wow. 
they fucking blew them out. <laughs> Dude. I... I mean, I guess... I don't know really what I expected. I guess I expected the Phillies to do just better. Yeah, they're they're still a good team. They probably just rested their starters. Yeah, especially since the Mets squeaked in. Yeah. Are the Braves still in, or did they they lose? Braves lost. Damn, we're filling time because I don't want to edit this. So Eunice, just, well, it's an hour and twenty minutes Woo! in too. All right, Seahawks versus Niners. Okay, so. All I want to say about Robert Sala, I do not think he is the problem. I know that he, first of all, he's a defensive-minded head coach. He's never had a quarterback who is, the Jets don't know how to develop a quarterback. He's a defensive-minded head coach. He, uh, Aaron Rodgers runs the Jets now. So anything that Aaron Rodgers says goes, there's rumors that, Aaron or that that Robert Sala wanted to fire or demote Nathaniel Hackett, who is the offensive coordinator. He sucks. Uh, you might know him from his coaching job last year at the Broncos. Um, or sorry, that was actually two years ago. Um, so the the problem is the play calling from the the OC and Aaron Rodgers. <sighs> is 40 years old, can't move. Uh, if he gets tackled, hurts his leg, is like literally like falling on the floor, uh, dying. And he just... So Aaron Rodgers was pissed because he was going to fire his friend, so he told him, you should fire uh, Sala. And because they have no backbone, the Jets... Apparently, the Jets' owner walked into his office with security and had him escorted out. No, that's crazy. Which is insane. So, that's all I have to say about that. Let's get into some predictions. Thursday Night Football. Eunice, you have the floor. Okay. Normally, I'd say 49ers, but I don't fucking know anymore. Seahawks, they had great defense at the start, mainly because they were easier teams, got exposed hard. I couldn't tell you who could probably win this. I'm just going to say the defense on the 49ers might be a little bit better, so I'll give it to them. Yeah, I I will say I, I think that the Niners' offense is still really good. It's just that it's the it's a mix of the defense – is not as good as it was before. It's not, like, they have injuries, but also I think their DC is not uh, really, because their DC left. So they have a new one, and he's not, I don't think he's acclimated to it yet, so they're doing bad. So I will also say Niners. Um, Dijon, what do you think? In my eyes, Dream League can just go either way. Mm-hmm. Uh, I well, think so too. I think Seahawks uh, for this one because I feel like they they want some they need something to come back on, especially after the a, a loss to the Giants, you know. So they're gonna, I feel like go hard, I guess, and then. I just right. don't see like if the 49ers were like a consistent team, I would be like, yeah, no 49ers. But they have like small wins to who was it? See, I want to talk stuff, but I can't even like fact check real quick. Hold up. Well, it's like, yeah, they lost one by one to the Cardinals. Yeah. They lost by three to the Rams. And it's like, you lost to the Rams, but then, like, demolished the Jets? What happened? Yeah. Where was the in-between? Right. 
So I'm I'm just giving it to the Seahawks here because they I feel like they feel like they need something to improve, especially after losing to the Giants. But the question is by how many, Dijon? By how many? Great question, great question. <laughs> here comes the wheel. No, he, no wheel, no I was gonna say he no didn't wheel. ready it up, so it's not it's not yeah. here. Um, I'd say by seven. Wow. They got something to prove. I mean, yeah, whoever wins this game leads their division. Yeah. And I think it will be Niners. I I, I think it will be Niners. Wait, what's happening in the Niners division? <laughs> They're all losing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone from their division has lost every game the last two weeks except the Cardinals, and that was only because they versed a team in their division. Can you guys hear me? Oh my goodness, you're right. No. no. Okay, good, because I was like, like I kept did. muting myself to do I it. I didn't realize. They that, all that lost. Rams have been losing. You don't have shit to work with. Yeah. The Hawks, they went to Lions, ate shit. The Giants, oh, yeah. they fucking lost to them. The fucking Cardinals Cardinal. lost the week previously to the, car- to the Commanders, and this week barely won against a divisional rival. And 49ers have been eating shit. They're two and three. Seahawks defense, bad. Rams injuries. Uh, 49ers, Niners, Niners injuries and their def- defense isn't as good as it used to be. And also, oh. Cardinals just are the Cardinals. They're, the Cardinals have always have been and always will be like a 6 out of 10 team. Like a mid, solid mid. Like and a C+ I, I, I say this because the Cardinals hold a very special place in my heart because that was my main on Madden 12. Before I even, I only picked them because I like their uniforms, I like their stadium, and I like the colors. And I knew literally nothing about football, and I would constantly get offside penalties because I was like, why can't I just fucking hit him before the snap goes? <laughs> um, guys, I have a plan. <laughs> all right, dude, I, I really want to go back on that game and like do a franchise in Madden 12. Apparently, franchise mode Madden 12 is better than 24. Everything older is better with Madden. I know. No, uh, I was okay. I was watching Wildcat play franchise. Yeah. Now, granted, he was playing against the Colts. What but year though? In his opinion, the uh, t- uh, the one that just came out, twenty five. Okay, twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah. And he was like, in his opinion, anything that's not like rookie is terrible. Because he says he feels like the QBs don't miss. I think no matter if he does man, zone, they don't miss. That's why that when you that make a franchise, in college football, you put it on the hardest difficulty and then you change the sliders because that makes the game harder. Like I played a, a franchise where it's like your accuracy is lowered, the threshold you need to tackle someone is lower so people can break tackles easier and then but they but they can't break tackles as much like you can change the sliders but for me franchise is more about like what you can do in the franchise not just about like how difficult it is and like franchise in the older Maddens you could do so much in, in ESPN NFL 2K5 you could sign movie deals in that's in, crazy in their uh like create a character mode which is not a madden game i i hope espn nfl 2k comes back uh unfortunately i don't think it ever will hey no the combined record in the nfc west where the 49ers are the combined record as of now is 8 and 12 that's crazy do you know what the combined record is in the NFC North? It's like 14 and like 6 or something? Yeah, yeah, 14 and 5. Wow. Yeah, I saw that today. It's funny. I was going to bring that up. They have 6 more wins than the West. Next, we have oh, Jacksonville. The, oh my god, this game's in London. <laughs> Jacksonville. I feel so sorry for everyone in London. Bears. This is not a declaration of war, we promise. Just John, tell us who you think your team's gonna how you think your team's gonna do. Man, 
I feel like with every week, DJ regrets that joke. Man, it's like... Do I stick with my pride and double down? <laughs> you have to at this point. Or do I face reality? Sometimes it's hard to face reality. It is. That's why I'm delusional. We're I mean, going with the Jags, baby. <laughs> you got that you got that Vegeta in you already. <laughs> Man. How many times has that what? fucker been humbled in a way? As long as they don't point at themselves with their thumb. We good. <laughs> I'm super Lord. But, I mean, let me just backtrack real quick. <laughs> uh-uh. No, no, no. Like, as I'm a, going back. No, no, no. I just, I just want to view the um, score against the Colts. It was 39-37. Or 37-35. 34. It was 34. So they won by three I feel against, an, uh, against an okay team. Against a team that's okay at best with a 38-year-old QB. Yes. Uh, now we got the Bears. So Allen's not there. So realistically, your hardest challenge is the run. I just want to say this before we continue. The Jags. Did you guys know that the Jags have a special team with the N- the special deal with the NFL where they are guaranteed to play a game in London every single season? Why? Why the Jags? I don't know. They have a special deal. It was something that the owner offered to the NFL. Uh they every season that they do a game in London, the Jags are guaranteed at least one game in London. Kind of so game. that means no. That the NFL themselves are they played confident. they played two games in London last year. You put it on the Jags. Yeah. And all you betters out there. Jags make the first touchdown. Alright, but who wins? Jags by one. Guess what <laughs> team they played in London last year? Guess what guess what the last team was that they played in London? Wasn't it the Giants? It was the Bills. Ah. I'm assuming you guys won. Uh, You'd think that, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, what I say, baby? Come on. But uh, Eunice, I'm assuming you're saying Bears. Um, yeah, I yeah. If the run game is gonna continue to grow like it has been the last two weeks, I have no reason not to believe in the Bears for this game. I'll say Bears. Uh, I was gonna say Jags, but haters, haters. Deshaun, haters. my question for you is. Like, what's the spread looking like? He said by one. Oh, by one? Okay, I, I was eating popcorn. You see, I always pay attention to you, DJ. Bro, stop trying and to turn this into a race thing. You're right! You this was a race thing. You why just you, brought it up you? as a race thing. Yeah, now I'm thinking it's a race thing. Why'd you every, have to bring it up, man? Every week, we... we bro... Go back and watch the footage. Every week, I inter- I like accidentally forget to ask Dejan a question. Okay, or, how often is every time an accident? You know what, Commanders Ravens. <laughs> We're going to that straight away. Yeah, that's the that is the next game in the lineup. Oh, right. You have a different you have a different list. Click on the bu- 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 Eunice. You got to look at the list from. Oh shit! Yeah, it's different on here. That's weird. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. No, no, actually, I'm with Riley on this one. You should have went on NFL sched, uh, schedules and actually look at it because, you know. Anyway, uh, I think the Ravens, we should have this one in the bag. Jordan Daniels shows a lot of promise in his throwing, but it's very clear that he's a run first guy. And considering the Ravens five week hold, of the best run defense in the league. I'm going to assume at the very least something about that will stay relative. I think it'll be a great game. I think it'll be a high scoring game. I think the Ravens will win this though by a touchdown at least. Dijon, what do you think? If the Ravens don't win here, I lose all, all hope. You didn't lose all hope when we lost to the Raiders? 
No. I think y'all were just goofing. <laughs> we're just having fun. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, though, the Commanders do also have a pretty solid, it's not good by any means, but it is solid, a run defense, too. But, I mean, the Bengals game proved that Lamar Jackson can throw when, it, when he needs to. Right. This is a great game. Towards the bottom, rushing yards allowed for the Commanders. So... I expect Derrick Henry to get me a lot of fantasy points. <laughs> he almost did it until OT, and then he just said, you know what, I'm in the mood. I think he was sitting at 16. Um, He had 95 total, and he got steep on that one play at the end in OT. So that means he was at 45 yard, or uh, 35 yards. Deshaun, what's your spread for the Ravens game? Wait, you didn't say you're a win or loss. Oh, no. Well, yeah, I'm going to say mine after Deshaun says it. It's uh, Ravens by three. Uh, they have this one in the bag, but but they win by a field goal. Um, he's done this every week now, Riley. So, I think, like, Jaden Daniels is good, but, you know. It, Actually, no, no, no. Riley, you're just a hater, bro. What? Man, quit playing with me. What? No, genuinely what? Like, I'm so confused. <laughs> he said nothing. All he said was, Jaden Daniels is good. Like, that's, that's the only sentence that left his... I'm gonna give it to the Ravens. <laughs> because uh, I feel like I've done something wrong since Deshaun is, like, laughing at me so much. No. <laughs> Deshaun, are you on crack? What is wrong with you? You mean like macro made this? Look at that macro. Yes, I think he just left. Bro, <laughs> Gus dies, and then I had to, I had to do with you guys. Why'd you say you like that? Oh and, and you're man, we're back yes, on it. Yeah, we're back stuff. on it. No, we're back on it. Okay. Right. What? What you, was the question? You know what? There wasn't one! Speaking of people who are getting fired, Eunice, you're about to lose your job, because wow. I'm i going to add a another like cast member who backs me up. I'm going to call Ollie. Fuck it. We should have no. Ollie. Ollie. You think Ollie's no. going to back you up? We should have had Ollie be a guest Ollie on this episode. Why didn't I think about that? Or Sam? Because I, yeah. I don't know. I figured Ollie would join us in again. <laughs> anyway. A necromancer dispenser? I'm killing myself. But yeah, it's I only think funny when I. I give it to the Ravens. Uh. Um. Cardinals Packers. This one should all should be easy. I, I just think that the Packers are fundamentally better than the, the Cardinals. But they're so much more inconsistent. That's the Yeah, but I think they had a good like they have bits where they don't look amazing. But you know, they they beat the Rams. I they they did, but they didn't really deserve I mean true. They but, beat the Rams because Matthew Stafford, his O line is three pack, three three cracker saltines, half a jar of peanut butter, and a stick. So, are you taking the Cardinals? Uh, no, I'm taking the Green Bay still. But I'm what just saying. Fuck? <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying they've been incredibly inconsistent. But I feel like this will be one of those games where they can just tilt upwards for once. Hmm. So, John, what do you think here? I'm saying Green Bay. And to add on to that note, um, is NFC North the best? <laughs> right now, yeah. Right now, yes. Oh, I, didn't, uh, I was about to say for national. 
I, I'm not looking at American. I know American. American has always been better than national. Let's be realistic here. Actually, they go through waves. Cause no, I I meant like just this season, like the teams on American versus national. Yeah, I think the the American. Well, I actually, I, besides what happened with the Bengals, I don't know what the what like. The AFC the past few years really has been better. Teams. Yeah. This is just not has been a very good start for the AFC. That's but uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm taking Packers. Just you know. Also, I just get, want to add get, get some cheese heads, I guess. I just want to add, as of right, as of um the boys game, the Ravens are currently twenty one and one against NFC teams. I I did hear about that. I uh, I did hear about that. Ooh. We own the NFC, bro. Now, Dijon, this feels like a buy one game. Would you agree? What? Now that you say it. You're wrong. <laughs> don't don't ever try to take my predictions. Let me guess. Man. He's gonna be like by two. One and a half. I hate I hate that you knew. <laughs> oh man. Now you have to say three. Nah, uh, I'm gonna say two. Just gotta, keep, just gotta keep taking the thunder out of it. <laughs> I'm gonna say two. Ah, uh, predictable. Texans, Patriots. Texans. Oh, Texans. Bro. Okay. Hear me out. Where's Gus? Hear me out. DJ. Why? I've got to represent because Gus ain't here. You don't, Rest his you soul. don't have to. You don't have to. I do tricks on it. All right. So, <laughs> I got to say Patriots here to represent Gus. I'm working on that resurrection spell, man. Like, he, he'll be back soon. Yeah, we. I, I predict he'll be back in a week or two. Or two? Nah, just a week. It takes the resurrection spell might take a while. Yeah. But don't worry, I got you, Gus. And I'm saying confidently, five seven. Wow, I was not expecting that. You then we have Bucks. Well, he kind of he he said. He said Texans. There's not much no, to say. No, you just didn't contradict me. I mean, you're the only one that's been doing it. Texans are just a fundamentally better team. Even with Drake, Matt. Bucks versus Saints. That's what you're going to say? Yeah, Bucks versus Saints. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're just tired of the BS. He was like, hey, no. Next game. <laughs> <laughs> um... Bucks, this should be a blowout win for them. I can't imagine anything less than that. QB is out for the Saints. All they have is Elvin Kamara. And as much as I love him, and I think he's a fantastic QB, he cannot carry that entire team off. He's what a 50 for Ollie. Huh? It'd be funny. Wait, no, I'm bursting Ollie. Wait. <laughs> it would be funny. Do it. <laughs> Where Ollie's mad because I beat him. You're goddamn right I am. But when I, I beat you in the playoffs... That's a shitty two weeks for you. When I beat him in the playoffs to contend with Gus, it's going to be legendary. When I win again, it'll be even funnier. That's the Riley revenge game. If you want to fucking talk about revenge games, that's a real revenge game. All right, fine. You'll beat me in fantasy and the Ravens will embarrass them. Yeah. You know, let's switch those around. <laughs> Too late. Then we had, oh wait, Deshaun. Yeah. God damn it! Shut up. All right. <laughs> he did it again. He did it I again. I should have skipped you. Oh, like I, I should have just fucking skipped you. Okay. Bad friend has got with that. Deshaun. What do you think for Bucks uh, Saints? Bucks. I don't think this was a question. The question is, but by how many? Now that's a good one. <laughs> I want DJ to give a number he hasn't given. Nine. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? 
Why'd you say it like that? Nine! Yeah, what? Whoa! You guys are calling me Whoa. racist. Have you ever heard of a black German Nazi? Shut up. Yes. When was the last time you saw a fucking Muslim Nazi prancing about? Well, I I hang out with Ali all the time. But Mr. Italian over here in you. All right. Yeah, what was your family? Yeah, <laughs> what were y'all doing in the 30s? My uncle was a, or my, my dad's uncle was a spy for the Americans. Uh-huh. You fuckers. Next game. Browns, Eagles, we don't, okay, I'm not even gonna, like, really dwell on this one. I just want to see Deshaun Watson's stat line. A.J. Brown and Andre Smith are back for this game, too. This oh my Eagles god, it's gonna be a mile. blowout. Yeah, this should be Eagles by a mile. Big DJ? See. Oh my god. The contemplation. <laughs> The contemplation. I can see, I can see you... the timelines, brother. All right, I can see all right, the all right, all right. So, settle, settle down. This is not a Times Square speech. Okay, uh, Eagles. <laughs> the fucking way he started. That. I could see, but by how much? See. Since Eunice wants me to do odd numbers, five. I did not say that. Did he not? No, I said, like, DJ, you should give out a number. I, said five. Give I already said five. I already said five. It's going to happen. Now we a have... safety in the field goal diff. Colts, Titans. Titans coming oh. out of the bye. What a, oh. shitty, what a shitty game this will be. I can tell you who wins right now. It's us because Will Levis gets to play. Joe True. Flacco versus Will Levis. Dijon, are you going to say Titans? No, it's Colts. Oh. Oh, wait, no, Joe Flacco plays for the Colts. Yeah, no, I'm right. No one said anything. Yeah. <laughs> He's arguing with the wall. <laughs> like, he got defensive and loud, and I'm like, bro, no one questioned you. <laughs> the voice is so dead, and Eunice had to fight with him. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, not no, it's Colts nice. here. Because Levis is going to do something really funny again. I'm so Bro, excited. Well, I'm calling it. First of all, I'm going to say Colts win. But my real prediction, to make up for the bye week, Will Levis is going to give us two pictures. Honestly, I could see it happening. If he even gets to play. <laughs> he should be rested. He should be rested. Um. Then we have... Wait, Dijon, how much? I didn't. Oh, wow. Um, I'm running out of numbers here, man. You don't have to say, like, strange numbers. Just say what you feel. Eight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then doing we, good. Then we have Chargers Broncos. Eunice, take it away. Oh, my God. Um, fuck. Broncos have been on fire rate recently, but on, on paper, the Chargers outrank them in every conceivable thing. Even coaching, like the outrank them. I'm going to give this to the Chargers. And because of that, I'm out. Mm -hmm. Dijon, what do you think? I'm in the thick of it. I'm going to give it to the Broncos. I'm going to give it to Broncos. Wow. Why Why do you okay. think that? How much? Okay. Why did I think that or how much? Which, which, okay, by like, how much? By how much? I am running out of numbers. So I'm going to say 13 here. What the fuck? The Chargers almost beat the... That's the thing I really want to say. Broncos. I'm running out of numbers, dude. <laughs> She's bigger ones. You can say 14. I really want to say Broncos. But I have to pick the Chargers because they are like consistently better, even though I think they're two and two. Um so coming out of the bye two, 
So give me the Chargers. Steelers, uh, Raiders. I oh, I am gonna pick the God. Both of them have no. I'm, I'm I'm picking the Steelers. The Raiders have no offense. The Pitts, the Steelers just have a bad. They don't, even have a, they don't even have a QB anymore. I know they. The Steelers just don't have a good one. Russell like, Wilson a, might start. That'd be so funny. <laughs> that'd be so fucking funny. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say the. I'm gonna say the. the fuck it. The Steelers. Okay, Dijon. I'm. Don't. <laughs> I'm gonna say Raiders here. I know it. That's the, that's fair though. It that's the thing. Both have good defenses. Both don't have amazing offenses. But I feel like the Steelers' offense is just better. I know. And the and problem I agree is it's close. the problem is I am running out of numbers. Just say a big number. Thirty-four. Um. <laughs> no. Uh. Twelve. You. Deshaun, you can go back to just plus three, plus one, plus whatever. No, no, no. We have like seven more games. Uh, Actually, we only oh. have four. Yeah. Five. We have five more games. No, we don't. We have oh. one, two, three. I don't have a low number for the for the for the Bengals. I don't like. Huh? What am I doing here? All right. Next I'm week. about to say something about landing Falcons? for the Panthers, man. Oh, man. Falcons, Panthers. I'm taking the Falcons yeah. because they're they're yeah. actually a good team. Yeah. And Falcons. one thing I'll say, I actually enjoy watching them. Dude, Kirk Cousins last week hey, had dude. more passing yards than... Josh Allen and Lamar Jackson combined when they burst each other. There is, and then you can still add 200 on top of that. There is only one quarterback in history other than Kirk Cousins to throw for 509 yards and four touchdowns in a game. And it was Brady. Tom Brady. Knew it. Also, I saw this this like a cup at Goodwill with, oh, right. with Kirk Cousins from college on it. I wanted to buy it so bad. Ah, I wish I could have. Maybe it'll be back. I mean, maybe it'll have a price tag on it next time we go to Goodwill. Dijon, if you say Panthers, Dijon. Bro, can I? Bro, you must check your boy. Huh. <laughs> Dijon, you are getting your ass kicked. Like, next time I see you. Oh, uh, did he skip you down. again? I didn't what? skip no. him. I asked him, hey, Dijon, don't say that the Panthers are going to win. Because they're not. The disrespect coming out of your boy right now, bro. First why of all, trying to, why, are trying to, why are you trying to choose for him? First of all, I was saying Falcons. So I don't know what, like, what Riley's on about. Bro thinks I'm delusional or something, bro. Like, come on, no? Anyway, next game, Giants. <laughs> I didn't wow. even say about how much, so I'm going to say, can I get a... Well, you know, I want a... 24. There you go. I was that's, just about to say. You know, actually, actually, that's 100% fair. Lions. Oh, fair. Lions. Cowboys. DJ, start us off. Do I even need to speak? Yeah, you need your opinion. On this game? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Honestly, this one if, could be pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. It's it's Lions. Yeah. No no doubt. Yeah. Uh now if we're talking about revenge games. This no. I was gonna say this is a revenge game. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. It hey, is? Y'all gonna see D Dak Prescott flying through the air. Completely detached from the ground. Concussed. No. Okay. That's too much. But, um. <laughs> missing a kidney. No. Uh, Lions are winning this easily. Yeah. Um. 
kind of going back to normality here. There we go. I'm going to say 14. Okay. No, I think that's a pretty fair score. Uh, the Lions are just, like, genuinely so much better than the Cowboys. The Cowboys have had so many issues. I'm taking the Lions by, like, I mean, at, at, at least 10, right? Or at least one touchdown. Yeah. What do you well, think, Eunice? I'm going to say the Lions, too. But I'm going to say it's going to be a lot closer just because the Cowboys somehow always pull something out of their ass. I'm going to say a field goal diff. Three point. Okay. Line. Sunday night football. So, I, I just want to say that uh, this game was supposed to be uh, flexed, but uh, NFL Network would not let them flex it. So, uh, Sunday night football is Bengals at Giants, which is going to be <laughs> a horrible game. I mean, it's going to be great if you're a Bengals fan. I will be watching <laughs> because it's... You know what sucks, man? You know what sucks? What? Bengals fans can't even really enjoy this just because even if they win, they're still too win. If the Bengals look bad, but like, if the Bengals barely win this game and they still win, I would be... If I was a Bengals fan, I would be so sad. Like, I would be... I'm the, I don't know why. No, the Bengals could win 70-0. to zero. The Bengals fans are still not going to be happy because they're going to be too. Yeah. Well, I am feeling an upset. No, actually, you you're feeling, you're feeling, uh, I don't like Joe Burrow. No, I like Joe Burrow. I don't like the Bengals. Mm. Yeah, well, that that is understandable. Um, DJ. All right. <laughs> Hey, your your boy won't respond to you. Why right, would you say boy like that? I'm kicking your ass, Eunice, next time I see you. Pinky promise? Yeah. I wonder what will be worse. you The severity of you kicking my ass? Or of the Ravens beating the fuck out of the Bills? Anyway. Um, well, I, I, I honestly, this. honestly, I don't even think you would need to consider that because yeah you're right no no embarrassment nothing will be worse than lamar no. choking in the I playoffs i beat you to it, you to it. Mm -hmm. Bengals win here uh i actually i was thinking more of an upset game dj if you catch my drift bro thinks i speak things into existence you do you do Bengals win here nice i'm saying i'm saying Bengals. Ah, um, no, you know what? I'm going to stick to my gut. The one in five is coming. Giants field goal. Here we go. No. Back, I back said to it. the odd numbers. I'm going to say 17. I, I see that so, completely fair. The Bengals offense is amazing. The Giants are just bad on both fronts. They're, they're... Burrow chase. Yeah. So. Defense is a tough their defense is okay. Their their offense isn't amazing. It's like, it's fine, you know. Like, just for a quick look, who did they lose to? Who they the Bengals? The, or the Giants. The Giants. They Commanders. lost to the Vikings. Commanders. Commanders. Cowboys. Cowboys. They beat the Seahawks and they beat the. Not yeah, Seahawks. They Browns. beat the Browns. Yeah. Oh, the oh yeah, the Browns. I'm feeling it. Bro no. is delusional. No. <laughs> Are you a Bro hater? No, I like Bro. Like He's Burrow. a Bengals hater. I just want to see one in five. <laughs> Am I so oh. wrong for that? If you want to see a loss, go no further than Monday. Yeah, Let's man. See. We Jets. all know. Oh, that was not what I was going to say. You don't think the Jets lose? I do, but I'm scared. No, <laughs> see, that's the problem. Yeah, I'd be like how I was when the Ravens were 0-2. Blind ignorance, and it carried us back up. So, okay. So, Sunday, or sorry, Monday Night Football. 
Bills at Jets. I think that the Bills, like, their offense is still good. They had a bad game, one bad game. Their defense is fine. I, I It depends on... I, okay. I, what? I want the Jets to get absolutely destroyed just so they can say, hey, Aaron, shut the fuck up. But they won't Maybe be, they can't do that. that. Yeah, he's their dad. That's the thing is that teams, when you fire their head coach, get like a boost. So yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of worried about it. That's why I'm worried. Um, I want to look up. What was I gonna look up? Little horn. No, I can't remember. Uh. I, I just feel like previous years. I, I don't know. I don't, Where, remember. Remember. I don't remember. Um, I feel like uh, the the Jets just their offense is not clicking, and I I still they fire their head coach. They they promoted their defensive coordinator to interim head coach. So they basically went from one defensive minded guy to another. Yes. Which is fucking stupid. Like I, I, if you're a head coach, you should be an offensive minded head coach. Point blank yeah. period. Uh, that's why I hate McDermott. Um, Honestly? Yeah, because your whole, like, overview should be how to win. And offense is, like, of course, defense is very important. But offense is way more important to winning games than defense. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The, as a head coach, your mindset is how do we win. As a defensive coordinator, your mindset is how do we lose. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's why I... Uh, I will give it to the Bills, but I am scared and uh You need to be in your team, bro. I, I I have no like I said, it, as long as Sean McDermott is our head coach, I You have, better be in the Discord call, by the way. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, you better. Man. Like this is not op this is not optional. I I didn't even think about that. Um take it like a man. I think so. I'll say Bills, but I'm scared. Uh, I hope Khalil Shakir is back by then, and maybe even since we have till Monday, fuck it, you know, get that Devonte Adams trade done. <laughs> you um, know, he just came out today, like on the news, and said he never requested a trade. So now he's doing like an Ayuk shit. I didn't hear about that. It, it it literally got tweeted out like while we're recording this. When I left, I looked at my phone. Wait, let me look. I want I want to see that. Devonte oh. Adams. Huh? Oh, Devonte Adams openly lying about requesting a trade. That's anyway, how... I'm going with the Bills on this. I'm thinking this is the momentum the Bills need to get back into shape. I don't think this will be a close game. I'm thinking Bills by two touchdowns. I hope so. Have some fucking faith in your team, bitch. I don't. Like, it, Look when at you... us. We don't bust. I, I can't. Like, I'm, I'm just. That's just not the kind of fan that I am. So, when my team that's is funny. doing bad, I, I call it. I'm a, I'm a realist. I call it like I see it. And how's that been working out for you? Fantastic. I was right last week in my predictions. You'd rather be right than happy? Uh, well, I have literally no control over, like, what happens on this team. So, yes, I'd rather be right than, than disappointed. Shame. You uh, giving up on your kid. I'm not giving up on my team. My team gave up on me. Yeah, okay. All right, DJ? Dijon? 
How long have I been muted? I don't know. A while. Last time I heard you say something, last time I heard you say something was with like Riley talking about the head coach being gone for the. Mm -hmm. Ah. Okay. Well. Um. Yeah, Bills win. <laughs> I honestly thought he was gonna say Jets. No, Bills win, and uh. Did I say 16 already? No. Yeah. Fuck. No, he said 17. Do, uh... He said 17. He didn't say 16. DJ. No, man, I can't think what of what numbers it? I said, so I'm I'm going up. I'm going up. Uh, 35. 33. You bitch. What? He said 33. It... Okay, I heard what he said. I'm just, I'm flabbergasted. If that happens to Sean, I will... I will be like. The game's know. Sparking Zero. Okay, yeah. If the if the Bills win by thirty three points, I will buy Sparking Zero, because <laughs> that is not gonna happen. So they so next week at least we get a buy. Mm -hmm. Because we gotta play the Titans. Early buy sucks. So no, we gotta play oh. the Titans. <laughs> He's playing the Titans, but he's saying it's practically a bye week. Oh, yeah. I thought he said we have an early bye, and then we're playing the. I Titans. was waiting for That's the pause. The game. Josh Allen throws the pick. The pick, bro. It's over. He almost threw a pick. Hey. He, he, he almost threw a pick last game. He almost threw two. Dude, that was so funny. I was like, "Don't end the streak, Josh. Come Riley. on." Riley, listen to me. What? If the Bills fucking lose. To the tight ends. Oh, I kill I myself. Take, I will never take anything you say about Lamar versus Allen Sirius ever again. I walk. They ain't gonna shut me up. So you can. I'm still standing. You can think all you want. All right. All right. Well, Look at you. Those were all the week six games. Okay. Wow. What a great way to end the podcast, Eunice. Go Ravens. <laughs> All right, those were all the week six games, but uh, oh my god, this was two hours long. Um, yeah, we spent like forty minutes on Robert Sala. Well, I like talking I said about it Robert as Sala. I said it as a joke. No, no, not like insulting or anything. I'm just saying like that's why it's so long. Yeah, I, I know I said it as a joke, but if you think about it, it makes sense that a necrophiliac made right, end the street, end the video. Made it. Go Bills. <laughs>